The Great Pyrenees goal in life is to protect its family, livestock, and property from any intruders and wild predators that may intrude their family's personal space. A dog with a stunning white coat, this breed also aims to provide unconditional love towards its family. However, like all dog breeds, the Great Pyrenees isn't fitted to all types of households. For today's video, we'll talk about the 8 reasons why you should not get a Great Pyrenees. At a glance, it's easy to fall in love with the Great Pyrenees. What's not to like? After all, they have a beautiful white coat that displays elegance and royalty. Behind their looks, this breed has desirable characteristics and intelligence which makes them great companions for the right family. However, since they were originally used as livestock guardians, these dogs can be independent and they can also develop destructive behaviors if their needs are not met. As we go through this video, we'll get to know more about the Great Pyrenees. Hey there and welcome to Smart Dog Lover. If you're new to our channel, feel free to hit the subscribe button so you'll be updated of our dog-related videos. Today, I'll share with you the 8 reasons why the Great Pyrenees may not be for you. So, if you're ready, let's start. Number 1. Do not get a Great Pyrenees if you don't have a secured fence. Great Pyrenees are notorious escape artists. This is especially true if they are anxious or if they aren't physically and mentally stimulated. Because of this, the Great Pyrenees require a solid fence that is about 6 feet high. These dogs have great climbing skills, so getting over a low fence is an easy task for them. If you plan on installing an electric fence, it might not be effective for these dogs. This is because the Great Pyrenees have high pain tolerance, so they wouldn't mind getting a shock in return for escaping from home. Same thing goes whenever you take them out for a walk. Keep your dog on leash just to ensure that they won't run away from you. Even a properly trained dog won't listen to his owner once he catches a scent. Number 2. Do not get a Great Pyrenees if you're looking for an off-leash dog. If you dream of having a dog that will obediently follow you as you walk on the beach or hike in a trail, then you shouldn't probably get a Great Pyrenees. As we mentioned earlier, these dogs were bred to guard. However, they think that their territory goes as far as they can roam, which means that if a stranger walks up to their territory, they can be protective and show aggression. But if you're just taking your dog in your garden, you can have them run without a leash so long as you have a solid fence. Number 3. Do not get a Great Pyrenees if you live in a home with noise restrictions. As guard dogs, the Great Pyrenees will use its voice to deter intruders, as well as to let their owners know if something suspicious is going on around the house. Because they bark a lot, you may need to have a set of earplugs ready, especially at night so as not to disturb your peaceful sleep. If you haven't known yet, the Great Pyrenees have extraordinary senses of sight and sound, and are able to detect wild predators even at night. Even if all the windows and doors are closed, they can still sense if something or someone unfamiliar is lurking around your house and will use their voice to scare them away, thus keeping their family safe. Therefore, if you live close to your neighbors or if you have thin walls, then this breed will make a poor choice as you may disturb your neighbors with these dogs' loud and frequent barking. Number 4. Do not get a Great Pyrenees if you're looking for a dog that excels in tricks and obedience. Don't get this idea wrong. The Great Pyrenees are incredibly smart dogs. They can learn tricks and commands, but they just opt not to because for them, there are more important things to do, such as patrolling your home to prevent any intruders and wild predators from coming in. Although they can be trained, they may not always obey your commands. Shake, sit, and come, for instance, are too shallow for them so they won't respond very well. These dogs thrive in challenging activities one that requires great responsibilities, so make sure to engage them in one. And we're already halfway through this video. 
So far, do you think you can live with the Great Pyrenees? Let us know your thoughts later on because for now, we have a few more things to talk about these amazing dogs. So without further ado, let's continue. Number 5. Do not get a Great Pyrenees if you highly value the landscape of your garden. If you're serious about keeping your garden nice looking and tidy, then the Great Pyrenees is not for you. This is because these dogs love to dig constantly, so expect them to create giant craters on your lawn. This is especially true when the weather is hot and they want to cool down themselves by digging on the ground to get the feeling of a cool dirt. Number 6. Do not get a Great Pyrenees if you cannot provide them with early socialization and consistent training. The Great Pyrenees are smart dogs, but they are used to working on their own. This is an excellent trait, but figuring things out themselves can also pose some challenges, especially when it comes to training. With a weight that can reach up to 160 pounds or 72.6 kilograms, you surely wouldn't want this dog to be completely uncontrollable, which is why you have to train them early while they are still young. In addition, it is important to expose them to various people, sights, sounds, environments, and animals so that they grow into well-rounded dogs. For this reason, the Great Pyrenees is not the best choice for less experienced and novice pet parents. Instead, they need an experienced owner who can be firm, patient, and consistent with the training. If they see that you're reluctant or unsure with what you're doing, then they will not hesitate to dominate the household, which can be a problem, especially considering their size and temperament. So long as you are able to provide these requirements, you are sure to feel safer with the Great Pyrenees in your home. They will also be more social and accepting of other dogs and strangers. Number 7. Do not get a Great Pyrenees if you cannot dedicate time for grooming. Grooming a Great Pyrenees is definitely a workout. These are giant dogs and they need to be brushed at least once a week. However, it takes quite a while to fully brush their fur. More so if you're doing a full grooming session, which includes bathing, brushing, paw trimming, brushing of the teeth, and cleaning the ears and nails. Aside from this, you will also need to vacuum your home several times a day if you wish to keep your home clean from fur and debris that they may take home after playing outside. If you're a busy person or just don't have the energy to clean them regularly, you can instead take them to the groomer, but it will surely be costly. With that said, if you don't have the time or money to groom them, then you should not get this breed. Without proper grooming, the Great Pyrenees' fur can form mats and tangles, and their skin can also have lesions, which can be painful in the long run. Number 8. The Great Pyrenees is not the best choice for homes with younger children. Although the Great Pyrenees will love children and will protect them with all their might, they might accidentally knock them over during playtime, which is why they are best suited for homes with older children who are already strong and knowledgeable enough on how to safely play with dogs. If you insist on having a Great Pyrenees, even if you have smaller children at home. Make sure to supervise all of their interactions just to be sure that no accidents can happen. Despite requiring lots of effort to raise this breed, the Great Pyrenees is definitely worth the work. So long as they are properly trained, socialized at an early age, and provided with their needs, this breed will respect your words. They will also have the ability to distinguish a friend from foe and will always be ready to protect you and your family even if it means risking their lives. And that wraps up our video for today. After watching the entire video, what do you think of the Great Pyrenees? Do you think you can successfully raise one? Feel free to comment down your thoughts below. As always, if you enjoyed today's content, Make sure to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. To be notified when we upload new videos, just click the notification bell button. 
Thank you for watching and see you on the next one.